Mm-mm. All right, guys, good old boy 32 here checking out. So we're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack, and we're putting together some Freedom Pellets for the Atlas. I just want to give you guys a little upcoming share of what we got going on. <laughs> Ruger 1022. We're going to be putting a really cool stock on this thing from the guys over there at Fab Defense. But getting back to the roots, man, this is going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, the purpose of this video is that I, I was reading an article last week, and I made the comment in one of my videos, and Midnight Range actually made a comment talking about the red flag deals. And I, I, I got this information from a website called Bearing Arms. If you're not familiar with it, uh, look them up, man. It's a great source of information. I, I just hit on their deal, and if something grabs me of interest and I want to share with you guys, and I'm going to. Okay, so this uh, was an article by Tom Knight, Knighton, uh, posted on the 25th at 11 a.m. Okay, uh, basically talking about how gun control has just been going through the roof. Uh, it's been the, basically the biggest thing right now is the uh, the talk or we the people really feel like uh, uh, a ban on these military weapons of mass destruction and, and incredible illness and blah, blah, blah. It's, uh, it's getting monotonous. And all I get to do, you read The Hill, and they're talking about the majority of Americans are agreed with the ban on the military-style weapons and, and uh, the mandatory buyback. And, you know, it's amazing to me, but then you read it, and it's it's a lot of individuals that put a, a, a poll out of a 1,000 people, and this is what they come up with. Uh, whatever, we'll talk about that later on. But in any case, I want to talk about this right now. Uh, the big rage in the gun grabber circles is red flag laws. That's one of the big things. And it's one of those deals, a red flag law, and we continue talking about it, is it is something that makes people feel good. They're doing something to uh, eliminate or an effort that they feel like this is something that will prevent mass shootings in the future. While I agree there are people out there that probably uh, should not be in the possession of a firearm just because of their mental mental status, I'm in agreement that everybody should have the ability to exercise their Second Amendment right. So where's that line? What do we do? Well, one of the things they could do is get rid of the notion of this red flag law is going to help. Because one thing they can't do is they can't enforce the laws that are on the books right now. And this is where this, this article goes. Um, <laughs> in Pennsylvania, a state of argue is becoming an important battleground for gun rights. A number of gun control bills have been presented. However, at least one won't get very far, and that would be their red flag law. Now, let me read this to you. Here it is. A state house panel advanced mandatory minimum sentences for gun criminals, preemption, preemption legislation of local firearm laws like the jackasses over there, Paduti, Paduti or whatever his name is, the mayor of Pittsburgh, <laughs> uh, and slate other bills Tuesday aimed at deterring gun crime. Okay, the votes by the House Judiciary Committee marked the first legislative action on firearms after a summer dominated by mass shootings. The day's agenda drew criticisms from Tom Wolf, and you guys follow my channel, you know how I feel about Tom Wolf. <laughs> okay, the guy, I mean, go back to selling furniture, Tom. Let the real people handle the business here. Uh, <laughs> all you care about is raising taxes on people, getting companies to pay their fair share, and whatever else. Uh, tell me how you're going to make the economy grow there in uh, Pennsylvania without raising the uh, fuel tax on people, which really and truly all it did was it hurt the people who needed it the most. You, or not you, because you don't care. You're living on the tax dollar. Uh, but me and the other folks. Okay. The day's agenda drew criticism, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, as well as Democratic members of the General Assembly who were frustrated by a lack of action on measures favored by gun violence reduction advocates. Who are these advocates? It's, okay, basically, let's ban everything and everybody will be fine. First of all, these red flag people at a, on a federal level, they don't even want to include the gang members, which, what are you doing about gang violence? Not a damn thing. <laughs> okay, that includes consideration of an extreme risk protection proposal sponsored by Representative Todd Stevenson, or Stevens, Republican, out of Montgomery, which allows for the court order temporary seizure of a person's firearms. Okay, one of the things, here it is, this is the big one, quote, we will not be considering red flag in the House Judiciary Committee so long as Chairman Kaufman is chairman. Representative Rob Kaufman, 
Republican of Franklin said, referring to himself in the third person. <laughs> okay, so that's where I got this information uh, from. It's not going to go to the floor. They won't vote on it. The only way it could happen is if it's introduced in another bill, in another section, and that, well, I'm, I'm not, well, I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. But what I am excited about is that there is somebody who finally will stand up for what is actually right. Enforce the laws you got on the books, dumbasses, you Democrats, anti-gun people. But you won't even do that. Your best bet is just to go ahead and try to hurt us, the law-abiding citizen. And you know the red flag will be abused. It's unconstitutional. There is no due process. But you don't care. Because all you're doing is you're trying to sell a bag of goods to the individuals out there who don't have any skin in the game. That this is going to protect them and your children. Oh, how dare you? Well, anyway, I've been working my ass off today, man. I got my bathroom all framed in. It's absolutely incredible. Running the duck work. Uh, guys got it coming over in probably another uh, week. Uh, we're going to be doing the roofing and uh, starting the siding and then uh, insulation and get all our electric, all our, well, get all our inspections. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Making some 124 grain, some 147 grain for the Atlas. I'm really excited about testing out the uh, 1022 with the new uh, Fab Defense uh, stock over there. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's coming to you guys live from the boys over there at Optics Planet. If you like this video, do me a favor. Give it a thumbs up. Let's make this thing go viral. The House Judiciary in Pennsylvania says no to red flag. And that is awesome. What a huge win. Let's go to what 32. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. I'm Coda Boy 32 and I am out of here. Y'all be good.